What's up guys, Talon, I'm making another video for you guys. I've had a few guys request in the comments section. They would like to know how I overlay uh, the temps and frequencies information in my videos um, so that they can probably do it for themselves or whatever they want to do, or maybe they want to test it. Um, the reason I do that is I don't always have it on. Um, I have it on sometimes when I uh, am first testing overclocks or when I'm first getting a system booted up. But after a while, once I realize that everything's going good, um, and I, I'm not noticing any issues, I'll turn it off because I don't like to have it on there. It kind of t it detracts away from your, you know, your gameplay experience and the immersion in the game. But another reason it's good is not when you first build a system, but if you start to suspect issues, performance issues with the game or maybe your hardware, uh, thermal throttling or causing any sort of issue and you're not getting max performance being able to overlay that stuff in the game in real time is more valuable than recording that information in the background or and then alt tapping out to see what your temperatures are because as soon as you alt tab out the load is off the entire system um, and it's not real so those temperatures you see when you alt tab are not accurate you need to look at those so you can see the maximum but being able to look at the temperatures in real time, not only seeing maximum peaks later, is really valuable because it allows you to see how is the system actually performing under load. Not what the peak is, not what, you know, what the minimums were, what it is when I alt-tap, but what is it actually showing when it's under load in real time for most of the game. So that really helps you diagnose. You can watch frequencies, temperatures, loads, all that stuff, real time. It's really uh, valuable information. Um, it can help you, di uh, you know, figure out your max overclock, things like that really good information so two things that I use I use hardware info 64 and Reba tuner statistics and these are um, the two programs you are going to need to uh, get and I'm going to put the links for both of those down in the description of the video um, really simple Google both of them it's not very difficult to find but when you get hardware for 64 you're going to want the 64 bit and I usually just get the download the installer so you'll click that download it run it install it very simple Viva Tuna Statistics Server, I, you can get on Guru 3D, a few other websites, and then they'll, down at the bottom, they're going to have various versions. Just get the newest version. You can see how many downloads there are. And you'll know you're getting the newest one because it'll list up here the newest version and then also the date that, that was uploaded. So they typically keep this pretty updated. The other way you can get Viva Tuna Statistics Server is it's going to be bundled with MSI Afterburner. It's typically with that. It gives you the option, I believe, to install MSI Afterburner for your own cloud and your GPU. Do you want to also install Raven 2 Statistics Server and just click yes to that. I am going to go ahead and we're going to shut that music off because that's just way too loud. I wanted to have something in the background it's just so it wasn't so boring because this is just such a boring video for most people. But uh, probably most people are using this as informative. So we'll go ahead and just turn it off. I am recording this with Shadowplay, by the way, on the desktop. There's a way to activate that if you don't know how. Another YouTube video, I'm sure you can figure it out. Um, but you get both of those. Once you get them installed, get them on the desktop. You know, go to the file location. If you don't know how to do that, just search in the little search bar down there. Go to the file location and then create a desktop shortcut just so it's easier because they don't install icons. I, I don't think either of them onto the desktop, even during the installation process, doesn't even offer it to you. It's really weird. Um, they go to their own little specific location. So now that we got that out of the way, once you get those, go ahead and open them up. So run this and run this. Now, Real Tuner Statistics Server, it's going to, they're already running. That's why they didn't pop up. So let's close them for you guys. And we're going to reopen those so you can see what they look like. So when they run, you're going to want to click on sensors only because otherwise it's going to give you a lot of information you don't need. So sensors is what we're looking for here. So click run on that one. And it's going to pop up this big long window of a bunch of information. Occasionally when you run this for the first time, you may get a warning that monitoring certain sensors can cause performance uh, or uh, system stability issues. If it detects that, just say do not monitor these and then there should be a little box that says don't ask me again in the future. Normally, they're weird thermal sensors that you're really not going to need, but monitoring can cause issues. So if it does offer you that option, select that option and get rid of it. You don't want to monitor those. I have done that in the past where I said, no, I want to monitor them. And I was getting huge, huge stuttering issues. Uh, the system became totally unstable and would crash. So if it does give you that option, select that. Go ahead, open up Reba 2 Statistics Server. And once that opens, it's not going to pop up. It's just going to go down here into your task tray. And you can bring that up like that and get rid of that. Um, we'll go ahead and let's set up Reba Tuna Statistics Server first, and then we'll come back to setting up the hardware info. So this little box here is going to give you 
uh, essentially where that information that I have on my screen is being displayed. I like it up in the top left, but game dependent, there may be something there that you don't want to block, move it around, do you. Uh, another thing that I change in here is the way that it's, it's displayed. Now, if you watch this, you'll see it changes that, right? I really like the raster 3D, and it looks like you can go through and you can change it some more, but I really like the way that looks. It's got kind of a shadow to it, and I find that it's easiest to see in game. I like the text, I like the, the way it, it appears. The other thing I like to turn on is show own statistics. Now, that's going to turn on your FPS counter. So you want that on or on, right, or on or off. So I leave that on. And then the lastly thing, you're, the only thing you're going to change in here is the color. So you can go through here and you can select the colors. Pick a color that's very, you know, bright and stands out in the background of a game. Yellows work pretty well. Reds and like purples and things like that, I don't feel look very good. It's going to be, again, again game dependent and the color gradient they're using. But I like like a green, like a neon, bright neon green or yellow for me seems to stand out really well. And then I guess I should have mentioned you have the, the on-screen display zoom. This is going to be dependent on resolution. If you're running a super high resolution, it will look really small and you need to drag it up. Likewise, if you're running lower resolution, you set it to where I have it on 1080p, it may look ridiculous, way too big and taking up too much. So you can all tab it in and out of the game in real time and adjust that to your liking. So that's all that you're doing there. Let's go ahead and minimize that. We'll get that out of the way. Come down here to the icon. This is your reset. So if you want to ever reset these before the game, that'll reset that. But the one we're really um, worried about or concerned with here is the configure sensors tab, little gear icon. So go ahead and drag that over so you can see it clearly. And you're going to go over to where it says OSD RTSS. So it's interfacing with that. Both these programs will have to be run at the same time, no launch order, in order to get this to show up in game. You're going to come down and you're going to see all of this different information that is essentially this information. And then it gives you the option to overlay it, right? All those sensors you see here are now over here, right? The information that you want. So starting up at the top, the things that I overlay, I overlay the core clock speed of the 8700K. I overlay its uh, core load and its temperature. I overlay my GTX 1080's um, core clock, memory clock, its uh, temperature, and also its GPU load. And I'll show you how to get that and then how to position all this stuff because you have to go through and set this stuff. So you you see here core zero, which is core one. So they go core zero is core one, core five would be core six. That's just the way they count. You can count one, two, three, four, five, six. It's just what they do. And then you see over here, yes. Yes means it's on, no. So you click on what you want, come down here. You're gonna click on this little setting here, this little click tab or whatever you wanna call it. And you're gonna show in OSD, which which OSD is on-screen display. So you're going to click that on, and then it gives you a position. Where do you want it? Well, the way, if you see it in my videos, the way I have it set up is I like line one, column one, right? Just think of this as a grid in your head, and it's pretty simple to figure out. Um, line one, column one. Coming down, same order. Just go right below it. Line two, column one, line three, and so on. You guys can figure this out. It's not rocket science, right? Continuing your way down. So that's the first setup I have. Next to that, I usually, I believe I put the load or the temperature, but regardless, we'll figure it out as we go through. So you're coming down, um, and then it's usage. So I do have that, uh, that is number three. So DTS, which is going to be your digital temp sensor, I think is what it stands for. Some, something temp sensor. Um, that's going to be number two. So I obviously put uh, the temp sensor, which is here, in the second one. So corresponding back to the first core, this should actually, it's really weird that it's down here. I need to move that up. How do I move this up? For whatever reason, this is out of order because it's probably out of order right here. So we'll go back in here in a second. We're going to drag this up so it's not confusing for you guys. There we go. Now it's in order. Drag it back over. Go back into OSD RTSS and come back down to DTS again, which is temperature. And corresponding back to the same thing, line one, but now you need to put in column two so you don't overlay on top of it, right? So line one, column two. Line two, column two. Line two, or line three, column two. Line four, column two. Does this make sense to you guys? So just build this in your head. It's really simple and you'll figure it out as you go through it. 
Then I put the usage. Now you'll see there's a lot more usage threads here. It's because it has hyper threading. So you have core zero uh, thread zero, core zero thread one, which is the hyper threaded uh, core, right? So the ones you're going to focus on are always the zeros here. Unless you want all of these, you can put them all in. That's up to you. You're going to have a lot of clutter in your screen, but this is the way I set it up. So I'll have core zero, thread zero. Corresponding back to the first core, you have line one, but now it's all the way over in column three. Coming down to core one, line two, column three. Coming down to core two, line three, column three. This should make sense to you guys. If it doesn't, play this back a few times until it sinks in. It's pretty clear to me, but... This is basically how you're overlaying it. We're drawing this information on the screen. We're positioning it. And you just, you know, do it in your head. This is pretty simple stuff. Next thing I have, I have the GPU. So scroll down to where you find the GPU. And it may be in a different order. This, I'm not saying this is totally how yours is going to be. The way it renders it here is just dependent on your system. But it will be labeled. There's my GTX 1080. The first thing I like to put is the... GPU clock. Now do not get that confused with video clock. That's not the same. This will not show information that's accurate. Put GPU clock, not the video clock. So again, clicking every... The other thing that I forgot to mention, I had already told you guys this, but every time you go through one and you add one of these things, to even get this to show up, you obviously have to click show in on split or show in uh, OSD. I guess I could have showed you that down here, but whatever. Uh, so let's go back. You have your GPU clock show. And now because we had six cores, um, we're already all the way down now on line seven, column one. That's for GPU. Then I do memory clock, line seven, column two. And then I do the DTS, which I believe is right. Let's see if we can find the temperature. I know. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's your GPU temperature shown OSD, so that's on number three. And then the other thing I like to do is the direct 3D usage. Um, and that'll be line seven, column four, and that's at the very end. And that's it, that's all you do. Once you do all of that, you will see that uh, you launch both of these programs, launch the game. This does have to be sometimes turned on, dependent on the game. These have to be open prior to launching the game or it may not show up on your screen. So go ahead and make sure that you do have those um, opened up and running. You don't have to do anything else. Other, once that's all set, you can close all that stuff out. Um, and then once you want to run it, just sensors only, click run, open that back up. You can minimize that. That one already minimized itself down here to the tray icon and you're good to go launch the game and uh, you'll have all that information displayed here, 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 depending on where you put it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope that video was helpful to you guys. Um, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.